Alright, so lesson 92 is on expanded notation with exponents, order of operations with exponents, and powers of fractions. So here we have the speed of light is about 186,000 miles per second. And it wants me to write that in expanded notation using exponents. So the way I do that is I have 186,000. Now if you remember, with expanded notation we go um, by the place value. Okay, so my first one here is going to be 1 times, and then if I wrote it normally, it would be 100,000. Well, that takes up a lot of space, and I don't want to do that, so I'm going to write it in exponent form. So to do that, it's going to be 10 to some power. Now, to figure out what power you're going to put this 10 to, you're going to count how many place values there are after my 1. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it's going to be 1 times 10 to the 5th power. Okay? Plus, the next one is my 8, 8 times 10 to the what power? Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4th power. Okay, then I'm going to do my last one, which is plus 6 times 10 to the 1, 2, 3, 3rd power. And that's my answer. So the second part is order of operations. So here we have how to do the order of operations. So first, simplify in parentheses. Second, we do powers and roots. Three, we multiply and divide left to right. And four, we add and subtract from left to right. Uh, if you remember, this is how a good memory trick to remember it. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. And it just means parentheses, exponents, multiply. We do at the same time and the same as addition and subtraction. So here we have, we want to simplify this problem. So we have 5 minus 8 plus 8 divided by the square root of 16 plus 3 squared times 2. I find it easiest to go step by step. So I'm going to look which one do I do first. I first do the parentheses. So 8 plus 8 is 16. Now I'm going to rewrite my whole equation. 5 minus 16 divided by the square root of 16 plus 3 squared times 2. Okay. Now this one I need to do, now the second I need to do the roots and powers. So I need to do this one and this one. So the square root of 16 is 4 and 3 squared is 9. Again I'm going to drop everything else straight down. Okay. Now I'm going to look again, what do I do next? Addition and subtraction from left to, or sorry, multiplication and division from left to right. So I'm going to divide and then multiply. It was a little bit smaller. So 16 divided by 4 is 4, and 9 times 2 is 18. And I'm going to drop the rest of the numbers plus and symbols. All right, so now I'm going to um, add and subtract from left to right. So 5 minus 4 is 1, plus 18 is equal to 19. So we have this problem, 10 plus 2 cubed times 3 minus 7 plus 2 divided by 9. Again, let's take this by steps. So first we're going to do 7 plus 2, which is 9. And we're going to fill in the rest. Just drop it down. Minus 9 divided by the square root of 9. Okay, next thing we do is powers and roots. So 2 cubed is 8 square root of 9 is 3. Now drop the rest of it. 10 plus 8 times 3 minus 9 divided by 3. Okay. Next step, multiply and divide from left to right. So we're going to multiply and divide. 8 times 3 is 24. 9 divided by 3 is 3. Now I can drop the rest of them. And scooch it over. Alright, so now I have 10 plus 24 is 34, minus 3 is equal to 31, and that's my answer. Alright, the last part is with, simple, is with uh, fractions um, with powers. So here we have 2 thirds squared. Now remember, 
that when we square any number, it's multiplying that number by itself. So here we have 2 thirds times 2 thirds is what it actually means. Now we usually put these parentheses here just to make it so it's less confusing with this square. That way it doesn't look like I have a 2 squared over 3, which is not what we want. Okay, So let's go ahead and multiply these across. 2 times 2 is 4, 3 times 3 is 9. So my answer is 4 ninths. Okay, last one. This one we have 1 and 1 half squared. So that means I'm going to do 1 and 1 half times 1 and 1 half. Now, we cannot multiply by a mixed number, so I need to change this into an improper fraction first. So I'm going to do 1 times 2 is 2, plus 1 is 3. So I'm going to do 3 halves times 3 halves. Now I can go over. 3 times 3 is 9, 2 times 2 is 4. And then I'm going to change it back into a mixed number. 4 goes into 9 two times, and I have 1 left over. So it's 2 and 1 fourth. And that's all. Good luck on your homework.